you seem like a pretty competitive person because obviously you did the elite netball stuff and now you're here. Yeah. So you're like one of those girls who's sweet, you know, on the outside, but then <laughs> when the competition starts, you're a bit of a bit of a fighter. Uh, I don't know. I, I think coming from a team sports background, you kind of have an appreciation for all the work everyone else has to do as well. Yeah. So, nah, like if someone else is better than me and moves faster than me, then that's awesome. That's yeah. cool to see. And if they're like developing that, that's cool to see too. Particularly in an environment like this, because some days you go well and other days you just don't have it. Yeah, you? CrossFit's like so diverse. If the workout's not your, not your jam, then you just have to make it work for you. Tell me about your work with um, Ruth. Um, that's going really well, especially in the open. So valuable. It um, just calms me down heaps knowing that I've got such an experienced games athlete like um, who knows how I work and how I work best. Doing strategies for me that work for me and will suit what I can do. Mm -hmm. And then it makes me relax about um, like where I'm going to end up on the leaderboard and I tell her my score when I'm finished and she'll say, yeah, that's me. So she's pretty strategic. Are you a strategic type athlete? Or? Um, a lot of the time the stuff that she makes me think about in the strategy I never would have thought about before. And it's just kind of opening my mind to a um, more holistic appro approach, I think, to warming yeah. up for things mm -hmm. and how to approach things to make, to make sure you can get as much work out of yourself as possible. I suppose it comes with maturity and just yeah. more practice competing, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Do you find yourself becoming more mature, mature as a CrossFit athlete, I suppose? I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, I like to think I am. But then the last few years, I've still been trying to figure out what I'm good at. Yeah. <laughs> the, this last year has been about now I know what I'm really terrible at. Mm -hmm. How do we get rid of those things? Yep. So... Um, so I suppose doing competitions like this is the next step because obviously you put a lot of time training in, you know. A lot of times people at your level have to train by themselves because there's nobody else who can sort of keep up with them. Yeah. How do you feel about stepping into this realm, a spe specific competition, <laughs> you've been flown here to do it, it's live on the web and things like that, how do you handle that? I think it's kind of similar to any other heat in any other competition. Yeah. There's always cameras around now, there's always really good athletes next to you. Um, is a crowd, a crowd kind of, it helps. Like, doing competitions helps train a different part of your um, athletic ability, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. You like, either use it or you get destroyed by it, so. Yeah. But I think you're talking about that holistic approach, like when you go to regionals, for example. It's the whole thing, it's not just competing, it's, yeah. it's you know, managing how much you talk to people and managing your rest yeah. and your eating and everything. Is yeah, definitely. And if in the open, you know, it's such a controlled environment. You can do it when you want, with whatever judge you want, set up however you like. Um, it's good to have environments like that. That's not what regional's going to be like. You're going to have to move things. You're going to have to do things. You're going to be judged by people you don't know. It just gets you used to dealing with not being able to control all the variables. Yep. Mm. And at regionals too, there's going to be movements that you probably are not going to be able to do them when you want to do them. Yeah. It's going to be forced rest, whereas a lot of the opens you can just keep moving. Yeah, and a lot of the opens, if you don't do it so well the first time, you can have another crack in a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, you can, like we were talking about before, do 75% of the work, see what it feels like, and then do it. Yep. Whereas you can do that when you're training for regionals, but it, you got one shot when you're there. Yep. Yeah. So how did you approach the Open? Do you approach the Open with the thought to get to regionals, or are you just worrying about the Open on its own, or how do you handle that? Uh, everyone gets so good every year, so yeah. the first week is the worst week, yeah. because that's when everyone puts their cards out on the table for the first time, so then you can kind of see relatively like where you're at and where, where you've gotten to or how far behind you've yeah. become um, so as the weeks go on depending on what comes out you get a pretty good gauge of how it's going to feel you just I don't know like I feel like 1 to 30 um, that's the number you need beside your name um, if you don't do so well in a workout as long as you don't end up a hundred and something yeah. then make sure that you're consistent really I think it's good for training consistency yeah yeah you, can, you got a chance to claw your way back I suppose if you do have one bad one don't you yeah. but it's getting tighter isn't it because you look at the leaderboard this year there's lots of new names or lots of names that yeah. were just outside of regionals this year that obviously worked hard to get up there yeah, yeah. I've been flicking through the pages like one to five all the way through there yeah. is some really awesome athletes yeah. 
I suppose age is coming into it too because a lot of the top girls now are getting to the late 20s and early 30s and there's a lot of girls in the sort of early 20s now coming through. Yeah, I think the the development of teams, like in our box we've got a few teams and they just live it and breathe it. Mm. They're so like into it. I just wonder what they're going to be like in three or four or five years. Like, is this going to be too much for them? Like, it's, you get to this level and it's more about mental yeah. capacity like can you handle the pressure of that mm. and I wonder will that extra time that they've had to develop themselves as an athlete and their ability will that make their mental toughness better or will it burn them out early? That's a good question isn't it because I mean somebody like you and the other girls you've got a bit of life experience and, and mm. you know when you come into it it's sort of it's not your whole world that's yeah. important but it's not your entire world is it? No you know? I don't think you can let it be your whole world, otherwise you're going to set yourself up for expectations that are probably going to end up in disappointments along the way. Yeah. And if you make CrossFit everything, I don't know, I think it's probably just a bit unhealthy for you. Yeah. It's hard though, isn't it? Because it's so engaging, you know? So you, engaging. You just, you just want to do it. Yeah, don't you? You know? You could quite easily walk into a gym and spend four hours there and it seems like you've been there for five minutes. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Especially if you go, oh, I do that at home. I yeah. spend four or five hours there a day. Mm-hmm. And I have a full-time job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I leave home at six and I get home at eight o'clock and, yeah. I don't know, the day just turns into a blur. Like, people ask me what I did for training yesterday and I, I just have amnesia about it. I, don't, I would not have a clue yeah. what I did. <laughs> One day melts into the next. Yeah. 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 I suppose it's similar to, the, you know, like when footy season's on and cricket's on, you know, there'll be heaps of guys around and girls will be doing the same thing. But the thing is, is you're you're doing another workout instead of sinking <laughs> 12 beers, you know? That's, yeah. that's the difference, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So that's good. All right, so um, I'll let you get started for today, but uh, good luck. Thank and, you. Um, what's the strategy? Have you got one? Um, Ruth reckons it doesn't hurt as much as you think it's going to hurt. Okay. <laughs> good, advice go a yeah. good advice from a cut. Good advice from a cut. Yeah. The thrusters will just be annoying, won't they? Uh, so yeah, yeah. All the work's done on the row, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. For you girls, anyway. Is that a re- that's a relatively lightweight for you, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I've never done anything in pounds before. Okay. But I think it's lighter than if I was doing it in kgs, so. Okay. I'm just going to think it's 25 kgs. So that's brand weight for the girls, is it? What's brand weight for girls again? I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> 42.5 for the guys, so it'd be, what, 30? Maybe, I think maybe 32. 32. So it's less than brand. Yeah. There you go, piece of cake. <laughs> you will be able to go harder.